it's me. Today I thought we might try some new hacks that I found online to see if they work. I've been seeing a lot of people do this trick with a bottle and a knife. So bam, 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 skirt, uppercut that bottle cap. There's no way it could just pop off like that. Like we've been using bottle openers for centuries. Well, we could have just been boop, boop, boop. What? On today's episode of Try Not To Destroy My Kitchen, I have a bottle. It's cream soda, because I'm allergic to beer. I don't think this is gonna work. You think I can tap this bottle and the top will come off? No. Here we go. <laughs> it didn't work. I think you're supposed to use a lot more force. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this with another bottle. I bought two bottles just in case, one with a slightly longer neck. Supposed to go whoosh. What's going on? <laughs> Y'all weaken your bottles first or something? Literally went up, hit the ceiling, and came back down. I think on the counter and bounced off the counter. Well, it came off, and now you have to use a straw, anyways, because this is glass, and you shouldn't drink directly from this. Is it worth the anxiety and trauma? No. Use a bottle opener. So I saw this on TikTok: how to crack your back at home. I need to learn how to do this. <gasps> oh. Y'all hear that? That was a good crack. As someone who suffers from back problems, but I also be sitting like this. I also suffer from frequent light box attacks. Can't wait to try this. I love cracking my back, but I do it other ways. So I've never tried this way before. So you go like, boom, like that. Okay, one, two, three. Boom, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was a little crack. Let's do the other side. So you basically, you wanna put your knee like the opposite way. I don't know left and right, so I have to like think about this for a hot second to like coordinate. Big brain. <laughs> Ready, set. Do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, that was nice. That was good, good and nice. Ooh, again. Do the other side again. I didn't know you could do it more. <laughs> okay, I, I got all the cracks out. That was excellent. 10 out of 10 hacks. Back cracked. So stand exactly how I'm standing. No, put your hands like on one side. Like twist, make sure you twist. And then yeah. the opposite knee. So we're gonna take the left knee and then at the same time, boom. Ooh, baby! Okay. Look, 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 like this, like this, and then you're gonna do this. So this side, and then the opposite knee. Don't stand that close to me, you're gonna hit me. And then kick your knee up and <laughs> Got it. We got a fat stack of Hershey's bars. Pop those bad boys in the pan, and then fill it with marshmallows. Lo and behold, you have a s'mores dip. Ooh. So I made something very similar to this, and it came out delicious. It's nowhere near as professional as this. There's two things I hate, wasting and dishes. So we're just gonna make a little snack size one of these. I'll put some aluminum foil and another aluminum foil, and we're gonna make like a little, a little aluminum foil boat. So I do this when I don't wanna have any dishes. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna try and make this super fancy. Hershey's bars. I'm just gonna take one bar. Evan's eating keto right now, so I have nobody to share this with. So we're just gonna make a single serving. Then we're gonna pop our marshmallows one by one. And we have a little s'mores pie. We're gonna pop this bad boy in the oven until it's golden brown. Eventually. <gasps> Oh, I think they're ready. Oh my God, look at these, look at these, look at these. Look how thick they are. Oh, that's a thick, juicy boy. Oh my God, it looks like a flower. It's so pretty. This is so cute. It came out so pretty. It looks like a flower. I did not even mean to do this. Getting my gloat and free crackers, my oat grams. I'm gonna give this a try. Where's the chocolate? <gasps> Did I not put enough chocolate? Oh no, the chocolate's not that melted. I probably have to cook it for longer. We're gonna do this in one bite. Mmm. 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 So delicious. I like the burnt part of the marshmallow. That's real good. 
This has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but I just wanted to try it. You know when you sit up on your friend's shoulder, wear a long trench coat, sneak into the movie theater, one, two, three, go to get to the next level. You telling me her friend is still under there? No! Y'all stuffed it with pillows! There is no human under there. That would be so heavy. I only have one ticket. It's okay, don't worry, friend. I'm going to jump in three, two, one, okay? Three, two, one. Okay, so now you have to let me support myself. Now put me under your shirt. No. Ah, I can't hold on. Ah, this isn't gonna work. How do people do this? Maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> Cannot support myself. Wait, this is working. This is working. Go, go, go. Okay, Kev, Kev, pull the shirt down. Pull the shirt. At least I got a button not padding under there. The only reason I'm trying this is because I think there's absolutely no way you can do this and it'll actually look good or decent or not a deformed lump in your back pocket. Here is the before. Before I go in and get my instant booty pop, <laughs> it's not gonna fit. These are my loosest pair of shorts that I still can't fit in. This is not gonna work. I'm tucking it in. Okay, very uncomfortable. Oh, let's see if it'll zip. Oh, whoa. <laughs> It actually looks fat! You put back it up! <laughs> it sounds like a cushion. Whoa! You see? <laughs> that looks like a shelf booty if I ever did see one. Whoa! That actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. If it didn't have like a crease then, okay? I do be feeling constipated though. I'm mad that this actually works. Like it actually looks like fine. It'll probably only work with jeans though. So this was a trend. I know I'm a little late to it, but I still wanted to try it because I'm always buying berries and I wash them. But apparently washing them is not good enough. Absolutely. Ew! Fine. You gotta wash them with salt water. See what little surprises you might find. But then are we gonna have salty strawberries? Hold up! If you haven't been doing this this whole time and just eating strawberries like straight up, have we been eating all the bugs that inhabit the berry as well? What? Wonder how many worms I've ingested over this lifetime without even realizing it. So I got my strawberries and I just opened them up and I saw something fly in here. Don't worry, you about to come out in three, two, one. I only have sea salt, so we're gonna use these salt packets. I'm preparing a bath. Today on the menu, we got some slightly salted strawberries, extra sodium. We're gonna pop these bad boys in. I'm gonna be like, no, my strawberries, they clean. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm seeing some dirt. Maybe you gotta mix them around a bit. Maybe the bugs are hiding. <gasps> Strawberry fuzz coming out, but I see I see a bug. I see a bug. There's one. There's two. They're very small Hold on. I gotta bust out a better camera. There's some very small bugs in here that one That's a bug for the most part. I think these are fine. They're not even organic Let's wiggle them a bit more see what else comes out. Whoa something. What is that big thing? That thing thing Oh, that is a bug. Some of these are furs, but some of them are like mini tiny bugs just flowing around my berries. They just mad because they've been evicted. No more strawberry home for you. How much I gotta pay you to drink this? <laughs> Bug juice. I think if you just rinse them off, you got some nice clean strawberries now. Clean. Oh no. This is a bad idea. All right, so I'm a, I'm a Oh sh uh, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my lord. I'm almost there. One last. Oh, okay, first of all, I gotta find me some stairs. We ain't got that here. These are the only stairs I can manage. So this is like super easy mode. Whoa. Skirt. Oh. Too easy. Melt a tablespoon of butter into your mug, then add some flour, baking powder, milk. Almond milk works just fine, and this part's optional, but I added a tablespoon of maple syrup. 
Mix that baby up until it's nice and smooth. And in a separate dish, mix together some brown sugar and cinnamon. Evenly pour that topping over top of your batter, and I kind of failed here, but try to swirl it up so you get that nice cinnamon bun look. Microwave this bad boy for a minute and 25 seconds, and you got yourself the easiest cinnamon bun mug cake ever. Whoa. I love me some cinnamon buns, but they're kind of annoying to make. And I'm gluten-free, so I can't just go to Costco or Ikea and buy me a six-pack for $2.99. Cheers. Internet famous. I hate measuring, but we're gonna do it for this. I already melted my butter. Fourth of a cup of flour. Baking powder. Just a pinch. A touch of maple syrup. Boom. Some milk. I'm using oat milk. Boom. Boom. That's it. We just gonna mix it up. It better be the most delicious and quickest cinnamon bun of my life. Do, 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 do. Sprinkle some of that sugar in there. And then we're gonna swirl it up to make it look like a cinnamon bun. Okay, my cinnamon. Bro, I'm also the cinnamon on this fork. There we go. We're gonna pop this bad boy in the microwave for one minute and 25 seconds. Why you built like that? Why your arms so long? Why you look like that? Boom. Wait, 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 wait. Does it pass the test? You know what I'm talking about? This test. The blizzard test. Now, the real test. <laughs> I now deem you edible. Look. Uh. It, it does not look. Oh, wait, is this even cooked? Oh, this looks kind of like a cake. Oh, it's like a coffee crumb cake. Saddest cinnamon bun I've ever tasted in my life. You could call me I'm this sure. cinnamon bun connoisseur. I've had many cinnamon buns in my time. You see, it's the pastry that makes it good. And this ain't this ain't a pastry, this is a cake. A microwavable mug cake. The lowest tier of cake. I think I could have used a little more maple syrup. I mean I keep eating it, so it must be fine. Maybe I'm just hungry. It's really not bad at all. I just had higher expectations. I give it a six out of ten. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these would you actually try. And if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. The face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.